Paul dedicates the last chapter of Galatians to our relationship with people and how to handle them. How many of you agree that most of the problems that you have are people problems? Amen? You heard me say last night that I, I was very spiritual to all the people came home. I mean, I could, I'd have my little teaching cassettes back in the early days and my, my music, and I'd play my music and be home all day by myself and quote the scripture and just, oh, I felt so holy. And then when the kids would come home from school, start making noise, dropping things, making messes, I mean, I was like a Jekyll and Hyde. I mean, I would go from being so holy to being so unholy, it wasn't even funny. And so, people are a test for us. People are who we get to practice our spirituality on. Amen? Amen. What you learn in church on Sunday morning, you get to practice on people at work on Monday morning. And Sunday, maybe the people on each side of you are just as holy as you are, or at least they're acting that way because they're in church. But when you go to work on Monday, you're going to run into a different kind of people. So what we learn on Sunday, we have to put into practice on Monday. Amen? All right. And therein lies part of the problem with the church, is we go to church and we agree with everything but somehow or another, we can't seem to get it out of the pew into society. And that's where it's needed. We don't all need to just go to our little church social clubs and be spiritual with each other. We need to get out in the world where it's rough and where people aren't treating us right and where people aren't acting right. And that's where we need to show them Jesus because to be honest, you might be all of Jesus that any of them are ever going to see. I want you to think about that. We actually, as believers, have a huge responsibility. And don't think that the only people that God's using are the few people on the platform, because really, he's using you all a lot more than he's using all of us. My job is to train up the saints that they might go out and do the work of the ministry. It's not just about you coming here and watching me work or turning the TV on every morning and watching me work. Every time you listen to me, I'm teaching you how to work, how to go out and live it in front of people. And I'm encouraging you that if you will do that, God will always, always, always take care of you. Did you hear me? If you will focus and let your primary goal be learning how to really walk in love, what that means, and I'm not talking about the human kind of love, I'm talking about the God kind of love. If we can get out in the world and show people the kind of love that God shows us, God will always take care of you and meet every need that you have. And even though you may get treated unfairly at some time, and you might have to go through some things, God will always, now listen to me, he will always vindicate you. He will always bring justice in your life. He will always make wrong things right. And the Bible actually says that God will give us double blessings for our farmer trouble. He is a God of justice. How many of you have ever been mistreated? Okay. Well, you know my story. I was abused by my dad, and I went through a rough time for a long time. But I'm here to tell you that God has blessed me double and triple for what I went through when I was growing up. And I'm not sure that I would take it back even if I could because I don't know that my life would be as great as it is now if I wouldn't have gone through it. So maybe you could stop feeling sorry for yourself because of everything you've gone through and say, wow, I'm excited about the double blessing that I'm going to get because God's going to reward me.